it fails and marketing tips from Frank the Tank. So let's take a look at how I create articles and get them onto all of the different sites, but especially today focusing on LinkedIn. Now, the first thing I do is I go to Word and I write my document. Please get a great headline over there. We know that. As you can see, I have internal links right throughout my article. And what I'm starting to do now is to take screenshots of exactly what I'm speaking about. Because I know when I read an article, if I watch a video or I see a picture, it just make, makes things a hell of a lot more clear for me. So as you can see, I'm going in over here as I'm writing the paragraphs. I'm doing screenshots, putting them in there. More paragraphs, putting the screenshots in. And so I go through the article. And uh, right at the bottom over here, if we go right to the bottom of the article. So that, again, remember, this is going to be for you. The first part is going to be just on Word. Now, the end is always your call to action. So there's my call to action. Sales and marketing speaker, please take a look at his free course. And by the way, I'm giving away free course there at free online course for you. Please go and take a look at it. 20 videos just for you. And then, of course, your other call to action, any kind of action you want. So book Frank to speak at your next conference or train your team, coaches and consults with businesses globally. So that's the first part. I've got my article ready there. Now, the very first place I always put my article is onto Blogger. So if we go to Blogger, you can see I've already done that. I've copied, I've pasted it on there. Very important is the labels and the tags. I put it on there. And why do I put it onto Blogger? Well, Blogger belongs to Google. And the first thing I want is my original one to be seen on Blogger, which belongs to Google. If we then take a look and see what it looks like on Blogger, we go over to my blog and you can see there's the article over there. It's got all of the pictures. I also like to insert a video. People like to watch videos. So I normally create a video and put a video in as well. Yeah, you can see I've put in a video. There's my call to action. Now, what I also do is I go over to my blog and I copy the subject line and I go over to a thing called Ping-O-Matic. ping, -o -matic. ping -o matic really pings your blog all over the internet. So I go in there, how to use video for SEO. I paste that in and then I just go send pings and it'll send it out to all of the blog engines. Now, the next thing we do is I go over and I'm now going to put it into LinkedIn. The first thing you must always do on LinkedIn is you've got to have a great picture, but your picture has to have some kind of message in it so that if people see it, it's going to create some kind of curiosity or it's going to explain what your video is all about. So if I click onto that there, I'm going to go and take a look and I'm going to show you a great little program now where I create uh, a lot of my thumbnails. And by the way, I'll put in a hyperlink in the description section so you'll see where I get it. And it's a little piece of software called the Creator. And you can see I've got dozens of templates, things that I've made over here. You can see I've made hundreds of thumbnails. Now, this is a great little program because you can get attention getters. You can go in and virtually you just change any of the headlines here. But the one I like to use for YouTube and a lot of the other stuff is I just go into YouTube thumbnails and uh, let's say over there how to. I'm just going to go into that there and I can go in. I can change the text. I can put there how to create great headlines. And uh, I'm just going to take these down a bit here. So we go how to create great headlines. I go implement and I'll go back to the menu here. I'll go to the format and I'll make the uh, character spacing a bit bigger. What I'll do is I'll make this a bit smaller so that it'll fit in. And uh, let's take that line spacing. We'll make that smaller. As you can see, I can play around with this here, how to create great headlines. And I can just move that to the front. And uh, I'm just going to move that over to the middle. And let's say that's what I want. Uh, I wanted to make the character spacing a bit bigger. I could just do that there. And then I just go export JPEG. 
and I will save it somewhere on my computer. So that's how I create my thumbnails. So if we go back now to LinkedIn, we're going into LinkedIn, and I'm going to go and find the thumbnail for the blog that I'm doing right now. Here's the thumbnail I created. It's pulling in the thumbnail there. And uh, there's the thumbnail, how to use YouTube for search engine optimization. Now, virtually, I'm just going to go and copy and paste from my Word document. So I'm going to go in here, my headline, how to use YouTube search engine optimization, copy, paste that into the headline. And what's what I'm going to do next? I'm just going to copy and paste the whole thing because I want to know everything that I've got there. I don't want to forget any of those images. I'm just going to go copy and paste and you'll see what happens over here. It's just going to be putting in blocks where I want to put the uh, pictures. So I've got to go back and see where I need to insert those pictures. So I'll go back to the start here and I'll see my first picture is going to be after video uploaded every minute. So I'll go in here and I'll see there. So a picture's going to go in here. I'm just going to click onto that. If you click there, it's going to bring up an image and I'm going to go and find that image. I'm just going to go in and look for that image. I've put them all into a folder here and I'll just click on the first one there. You can see it's put in the image. I'll now go over to where my second image is going to be. My second image comes after uh, YouTube videos. So let's go here. And you can see YouTube videos. Once again, I'll just click onto it. Add the image there. Upload from my computer. Click on the image that I've got there. And so you can see I go and I add all of the images to the article. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm also going to add a video in. And again, if we take a look here, this is where I want to add the video. And I'm going to click on video. Now there's two things you can do here. You can either add your own video or you can just paste a link. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to my YouTube video over there. I'm going to take that link. I'm going to copy it, go back in here again, just paste the link. And there we go. And uh, that's how we've got my video in. So now my video is there as well. And there you can see it, the video is added. And the one thing you've got to do is just clean up a little bit with the article over here. There's going to be lots of lines and spaces. And the one thing that I have found is normally when you put in a picture or something like that, there's always going to be a little space behind it. So you've got to get rid of these spaces because they're actually putting in space for uh, another video or another article there. So with all of these, I just go get rid of these unwanted spaces. And the next thing we're going to do is hit the publish button over here. Now, here's a couple of things you've got to do. Tell your network what your article is all about and use some hashtags to help others find it. And there you can see I've put in the title there, how to use a YouTube for search engine optimization. I'm now going to hit the publish button. And there we go. We're now published. And I love what happens next, because what we're going to do is, firstly, I'm going to get the link to this article, because again, I want to share that link. And I'm just going to go down to my article. And at the bottom of the article, I'm always going to publish that link. So if we just go down here, I'm just going to put in LinkedIn link. So I can send people there from anywhere else. You know, I can go and post about that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share it on Facebook. So this is pretty easy to do. And I can put it into all of my different accounts. And I, let me put in here something that will grab there. Here I type in, uh, do you know how to use YouTube for SEO? Let me show you how I get onto the first page of Google. I'm actually just going to copy that. And I'm going to post that into Facebook. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share it on Twitter. Let's go to Twitter over here. And let's share that in my Twitter feed. 
So I'm going to take that out and rather put in my new headline there. There we go, and I'm going to tweet about that. And this one I love here, share in your groups. If we click onto that there, you can see I belong to about 50 groups. And in those groups, there must be 5 million members. So really what I can do is send a message out to about 5 million people saying, hey, listen, I've got a new article. Why don't you read it? And all I want is 1% of those people to come in and check it out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for my big groups. And what I'm also going to do is find groups where it would be relevant. I'm not going to post it to non-relevant groups. So if we go here, event professionals, or there, there we go. This is definitely to do with social media. And that one has got 1.85 million members. Do I want to say to them, hey, listen, I've got a new article? Absolutely. So now I'm going to go into this group and I'm going to paste the message. There we go there. And remember my link. I'm just going to go back and grab that link. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste this in here and that should pull up the little article. There we go. It's pulling up the article for me. There you can see how to use search engine optimization with Frankie Tank. I can now take that out there. Uh, in fact, I'm going to copy that because I'm going to put that into all of the other groups. So I'll firstly, copy that and then I'm going to remove it over there. And now you can also go in, you can add a lot of hashtags. So I've got the marketing, advertising. You can put in as many hashtags as you want there. So I can go in there and I can, let's say I want to put in search engine optimization. I can put a lot more. But I'm just going to hit the post. So that's now gone out a message to 1.85 million people saying, listen, there is a new post going out there. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to go and take a look at some of my other groups. And you can see it takes me about 15 minutes to share this with the groups. But really what I've done is I've written an article on LinkedIn and I'm sharing it with four to five million people. If we go down there, small business network. So that's definitely going to be relevant. 160, 176,000 members. Exactly the same thing. I go into that group. Remember, it's got to be relevant. It's got to be interesting for them. And I'll go start a conversation with this group. And so I go through and I will just post that again. There we go. Remember, I have it copied. I will click the paste button. And uh, there it brings up the article. And I can then just go take that out and post. And so you go through all of your groups. And that's why it's really important to belong to good, relevant groups that you can share information with. So that's all pretty cool there. In a very short time, I've created an article. I've got it onto Blogger. I've got it onto LinkedIn, and I've said to about 5 million people, hey, my article is done. There's more that I do. I put it onto article sites, and I have an 18-point plan for article marketing. And another thing I'm going to do, why not put it onto, you know, I can put it onto Pinterest. I can put it onto Instagram. How do you put it onto Instagram? I'm working from my desktop. Yeah, well, I use a little, another little thing called Vivaldi. Now, again, you can go and download Vivaldi. And what this does, it'll install some apps onto your desktop here. And you can see it's installed Instagram for me. So instead of having to go, you can see here there's a whole lot of different things that you can actually install over here. It's going to open up Instagram in a moment. There we go. There's my Instagram. And all I'm going to do is go and I'm going to click the Add button here. And I'm going to go and find that little thumbnail that I created. So let's find the thumbnail. There it is. We'll put that thumbnail in. How to use. And remember, I'm just going to paste the copy that I had earlier on. There we go. I've just pasted that. And I'm going to click Share. And that's how easy it is to get it out there. So that's how I create articles. Put them onto LinkedIn. Just follow the same formula. It works fantastically. Well, if you've enjoyed this, please follow me on twitter.com forward slash Frank Furness, facebook.com forward slash Frank Furness, linkedin.com Frank Furness, 
and youtube.com with sales tips. And then also, please remember to go and take a look at some of my other courses, LinkedIn Marketing for Business.com, brilliant course on LinkedIn, video and YouTube marketing, over 50 videos and strategies over there. And of course, what I'm giving to you for free today is my 20 video online course. It's called Free Online Course for You. So please go and take a look at that. Remember to follow me, to like the video, to comment, and to share. Hey, this is Frank the Tank. Thanks for watching.